I first started skating because my parents loved sports and they thought it was a really important part of a child's life. Of course, I have an active lifestyle um, for overall health and to learn the skills of various sports. Um, I did a different sport every day of the week and skating was one of them. And when I was eight years old, uh, I first got onto the ice and organized skating classes. And I didn't particularly love it. I wasn't really that good at it. But once I could go fast and feel the speed and learn tricks, and um, this was pre-extreme sport, so there weren't that many venues out there for kids to learn like, major exciting tricks. And I saw skating tricks and thought, sure, I'd like to learn. And within a year, I think I skated twice a week, and then I skated three times a week, and then more and more and more. And once I started competing internationally, then I dropped all other sports and focused on figure skating. And um, it's an individual sport, of course. So what it taught me are, are valuable lessons for life. And of course, becoming an Olympic athlete was the pinnacle of my life as an athlete. But what I took from that and transferred into business and other other skills has helped me to have a career off the ice as well a huge team yeah so I, I had my trainers on the ice my coach um, that worked on technique and other coaches that worked on um, stamina and skating skills and continuing to hone and improve the way that I skate on the ice and the strength of, of every step that I take and then a choreographer uh, that was you know world renowned would make up all of the the steps that I did in my routine when competing and then I enlisted you know top fashion designers uh, to do uniforms for me when I competed on the ice well injuries are a part of sports in every single sport uh, and and I think people see figure skating and they don't assume that it's as gritty as it is and and that the strain on the body is as grueling um, but I had injuries that my doctor said even NFL and NHL players don't have so throughout my career I was lucky that the injuries that I had a few that you mentioned um, weren't career ending so I was able to just stay on track and work through recovery and um, you know get right back into competing towards the end of my career I had career ending injuries a, a torn groin um, torn abdominal muscles a broken hip and all required surgeries and those subsequent surgeries are kind of what took me out of my last Olympics in 2014 and forced me to take a look at whether I was going to be able to continue competing in such a grueling sport or if I had to move on and uh, like I said at the beginning of the interview all those skills that I learned as an athlete were transferable into other things and so I'm very lucky to have had the upbringing that I had and the foundation as an athlete to take those virtues and, and transfer them into the real world.